Bull Fry, and it's a quick video on how to create our new uh, smaller um, reports with GTime Report. So I'm going to start in the document that the link is in, the video and everything. So if you click on the uh, link to the beta GTime Report, it'll open this site, and there'll be a button that says log into your Google account only calendar and you click on that and you check the box that you want to run the report on in case later on you might want to run it on other calendars but uh, that's the one I'm running it on and then you also do your from and to dates so it's just we're doing weekly now apparently so it's the from date and end date the 26th and this is key you want to make sure you check the box that says merge similar items um, because after you use the prefix and the appointments then you can click on create report and it'll give you this now here's the trick um, just highlight don't highlight per task total but just highlight all of the stuff that's in the list no matter what it says and copy it I just did control key uh, control C come to the uh, report template which is also in the, uh, the link there you make your own template and then in the orange cell hit control V or paste it and all that stuff pastes in so you can see I have some appointments that are just placeholders for when I go to the school and those are not small are not um, big enough to show up but I usually just take out I'll just delete anything that I don't want to show up on the calendar. So if you have doctor's appointments and stuff like that, you can just delete all that stuff out and your chart will be created. And of course you can change that to be your name. We don't know how we're supposed to turn these in yet, but I'm assuming we could send a picture to Jamal or something. So we'll talk about that later, I guess. If you have any questions, let me know. ITS y'all. What, what? what, what?